hey everyone welcome back to another exciting video today we are diving into a device that might be a bit a hidden gem for some of you so today we have microsoft zune hd so this was once considered a contender against the ipod touch but unfortunately it didn't quite hit the mark that's why most of the people actually don't know about this device and even myself i didn't know about this device i come to know about this device few years ago and i was looking for it fortunately i found one a few weeks ago so it's here right now so nevertheless we are here to uncover its feature and discuss what you can do with it so let's get started so as you can see here the device so it got a 3.3 inch oled panel actually this was one of the first devices came with the oled panel and the device display looks pretty beautiful so other things like it runs on windows ce 6.0 that means it's running on windows 6.0 and it's pretty much look like windows 7 what you what we got with like those phones it came with 16 gig 32 gig or 64 gig storage but mine one here is 16 gig variant the processor here is actually nvidia tigra apex 2600 and it's a quite powerful processor for this kind of media player and it got 128 mb of ram and also another thing actually about this device actually it got wi-fi but there is no bluetooth this device actually microsoft released to compete with ipod touch but you know ipod touch got a lot of things better than this this one got only one thing good actually i would say is the display other than that everything is far superior in ipod touch so going with the design as you can see it looks beautiful actually the device is pretty beautiful uh, the back is aluminium maybe and front is plastic the display looks good At, in front we got a button here which is a home button or you can press it to go back or home and also we got a button here this one is not really a volume button when you press this button it will show you all the controls so it's quite awkward for me to use like i really like individual volume buttons but here we don't have that so if you press it you have to use like touch buttons to increase volume or decrease volume or change the track so that's what we got with this and on top we got our power button and lock button so if i press it it will lock the device as you can see here or press one more you will unlock the device and on the bottom we got a proprietary microsoft connector you can sync update your device and also you can charge your device with this one and we got 3.5 mm headphone jack here and there is nothing much going on with this device actually there is no speaker built in so there is nothing going on so in front as you can see the ui here the ui is pretty smooth actually um i haven't faced any kind of issue or lag using the ui and going with the music uh, i did like put my own music here and you still can sync music with microsoft zune application from your pc uh, but uh, it's a bit difficult to update the device right now but there are some tricks going on which will allow you to like update your device or if you have a brick device you can update your device and also you can like put your application here in the video section actually i did not put any kind of video here picture i did not put and also it got radio which does work and also we got social which was a big thing back then but actually it did not hit that much actually so it, it doesn't work anymore also and going with other things we do have internet and we can connect to the wi-fi and browse internet but it's very laggy you can't really browse anything right now here maybe a few of the older pages will load but not really a newer page and going with the setting there are few things if you go to wireless section you can turn on wi-fi and other things and going to the display we, we have tv output and brightness and other things and also we do have a tilt function here if you turn it on it will give you a 3d like display so but it does not really it does work but i can't really show you maybe you can see here the icons are moving wherever i'm moving the display going with the other things and setting so we got a screen we got clock here so you can change the time and we got a screen lock so you can put pin code here but, but i don't really know who going to 
put pin code on their music player and going to the other things like we got internet section here you can see few settings got keyboard section here and other than that nothing much if you go to about section you can see the zoom so the version here and if i go back the storage here so this is a 16 gig variant and nothing much here going to the other things like when i got this device actually um this device did not come with any kind of application here and fortunately i have found some tutorial and i followed those things and just install few of the uh, application here so as you can see here you can still do gaming here and you can still like put application here the application here actually are official one so installing the official one is pretty much easy just you have to copy the file where where the zoom software locate the application you just put it there and you can sync the application to your zoom player but if you want third party application you need to install few other uh, software to do that to deploy the application so here i have installed few games as you can see here but the most favorite one here actually is this game which is ferrari edition pgp ferrari edition it's a quite uh, powerful game actually for this kind of player back then so the game is still working and i really enjoy playing the game here the, because the display is pretty good and all and also the processor here is actually pretty powerful so the games run pretty smoothly here actually rather than that nothing much you can do you can do only like listen to the music and in free time if you really want to play some game you can play this device actually mainly for collection right now and i also got this one for collection not really to listen to the music or play games but i do really like to play games or do few things here and there with this kind of players so as you can see here the game is running smoothly here and this game is actually built for this device so it runs pretty smoothly here and and if you swipe here you will see all the application you used like you can see the history and you can see the player and whatever i have opened all of those things are here and pretty much that's it about the maxo zoom i really like this player is very small and very handy i really like this player so that's all about microsoft zoom hd thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time